Hello guys and welcome to Motor Beam. We are here out on the racetrack and yes, you are in for a comparison with the TVS Apache RR310. This is the newest motorcycle, same here, but changes have changed. You get winglets, little more power, transparent clutch cover and that's about it. But does it get anything more? Yes, it has a lot more to offer. So let's see which one should you buy and why in today's video. Before you begin, subscribe to Motor Beam and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Yeah. Now the closest competitor to this motorcycle is nothing else but the RC390 because the power has been bumped for the RR310. Now it produces 38 bhp and produces close to 29 Nm of torque. Then the RC390 produces 43 bhp, which is close to 5 bhp difference, but 37 Nm of torque, which is almost 8 Nm difference. Weight difference between both the motorcycles is quite a bit. When I say quite a bit, it is exactly 2 kgs. Yes, the RC390 weighs 172 and the new RR310 weighs 174. But the major difference is if you're looking for comfort, you will find more comfort, more rideability in city, long distance touring with the, yes, the RR310. The reason being that the ergonomic position, the riding posture, everything else is much more comfortable. It's much more sane and it's much more suited for daily as well as track riding. If you want to go outright track riding, then you can definitely enjoy on the RC. There is definite benefit that the RC gets a bigger fuel tank, while the RR only gets a 11 litre fuel tank. So, RC 20 in comparison, mein, yes, there is a decent amount of fuel range car difference. But then again, if you can live with that, then no problem. Nahi that was one of the biggest questions that I asked the DVS team and they said that it is not a deal breaker for them that giving only a 11 litre fuel tank on the RR because considerable car lo ke apne full tank kar liya. 250 to 280 km because you are getting close to 28 km per liter and easily 280 km is a good distance to go out on a ride. If you want more range, you can always look out for a fuel stop. But if you are going exploring, then will you take the RR310 there? That is the biggest question. Now this motorcycle also gets winglets. Abhi winglets ka usability meko nahi samaj mein aata Indian conditions mein, but it does look very very dope. And the price difference when I talked about, it starts from 3,20,000 on road Mumbai to 3,50,000 on road Mumbai for the bomber grey color and usme aur addition karoge dynamic dynamic pro kit and ye sab add karoge then the rr310 ka cost will increase but then again if you look at the costing for the rc390 it is considerably okay at 385000 rupees on road mumbai from there to 350 for the top point, top end color 30000 ka difference for the performance that you get and the looks that you get is something to definitely look out for the seat height difference for the RR310 and the RC390 is also decent enough. 810 mm ki seat height milta aapko RR310 mein, jabki RC mein milti hai aapko 835 mm. Now that is a taller motorcycle, it is a little more aggressive motorcycle. But if you want to go corner craving, if you want to go knee downs everywhere, literally aapko bhagana hai, maze karne hai and you want to enjoy track days. Track days is your priority. And if you have something of that sort, then get the KTM because KTM is much more suited out on the track. You get decent amount of confidence from the RR, but then again, the RR is a little too front heavy and the weight distribution, I felt that you have to battle with the motorcycle at times. If you're not getting the dynamic pro kit, you have adjustability functions, then you will have to live with the fact that you have to battle it out a little bit. The RC390, you just look at it and it just goes there. Also, in both the motorcycles, you get a difference of clusters. The cluster on the RR is vertical, digital cluster, completely beautiful, colorful. You get four riding modes and all the four riding modes give a power difference also. If you go urban and rain, mein you get only 30 bhp. If you are riding in the sport or track, only then you get that 38 bhp. 8 bhp is the gain. Milta hai wo. The otherwise, torque also drops by 4 to 5 Nm. So yes, there is a decent amount of difference for the riding modes and you can actually feel the intrusion of ABS and everything. Now with the RR310, you can definitely get a much more suited and better dynamic control. What is dynamic control is when you lean into a corner, up corner, ho, knee down, touch, ho raha hai, aapka nana, full throttle open. Kiya. The rear tire won't slide out and the motorcycle will not accelerate very abruptly. Power will get you, but it won't push, it will gradually pick karega so that you have a very linear and a powerful, at the same time confident inspiring acceleration. Because that you are in turn and you throttle it out, you can lose out control and there can be a very big problem. And then out on the straight line, you can actually hit very nice top speed. You can handle the motorcycle decently well. Tires grip really, really well. And the brakes are very sharp. Now the braking difference between both the motorcycles is decent enough. There have been times when I was riding the RR and I could find that brakes were getting a little too hot in the whole track session. But then again, the confidence of braking and late braking was also there. In the RC, you can late brake even more. So RC ka brakes are sharper and little more precise. 
but then again the comfort feel on the rr is much better you get adjustable levers on both the motorcycle which is definitely a good thing if you want a comfortable stable set motorcycle then you can consider tvs tvs ka khali ek hi problem hai that the vibrations from the motorcycle can get into your head and it can bother you when you are riding quite fast मतलब आइडल पे वो बजी ने हल्का सा फील होता है क्योंकि इट्स सिंगल सिंगल मोटरसाइकिल एंड इट गेट्स अ लिटिल बैड आफ्टर सेवन टू एट थाउजेंड आर पी एम इफ यू राइडिंग इन द अर्बन एंड रेन मोड वो इतना बॉर्डर नहीं करेगा अप टिल द फर्स्ट सर्विस बाकी जो दोनों मोड्स हैं स्पोर्ट और ट्रैक वो भी ओपन नहीं होंगे तो अनटिल देन यू विल एक्चुअली लाइक दी आर आर क्वाइट अ बिट वंस यू स्टार्ट ओपनिंग अप वंस यू स्टार्ट राइडिंग इन द स्पोर्ट मोड और द ट्रैक मोड वंस यू स्टार्ट पुशिंग द मोटरसाइकिल इट इज देन वैन यू रियलाइज दट येस इट हैज डेफिनेट सेट ऑफ वाइब्रेशन कमिंग इन द बेस्ट पार्ट इज दैट आई लाइक द आर सी का हेडलाइट उसका हेडलाइट का सेटअप काफी अच्छा है इट बैटर्स ऑफ द रोड पीटी वेल बट देन द आर आर का बाई एडी प्रोजेक्टर्स आर अ लिटिल बिट बेटर मतलब एक स्टेप अबाव हो जाता है क्योंकि उसका प्रॉपर लाइन आता है प्रॉपर हेडलाइट का फील आता है एंड हाई बीम फंक्शन वर्कस रियली वेल You will actually like the mirrors on the RR also because the mirrors fit in quite nicely, and you can see what's behind if you have it outside. Otherwise, also it's pretty decent. For the KTM RC, the mirrors pop out quite nicely, but there are times because of the handlebar portion and everything, आपका जो edge है body का edge है वो mirror में दिखता रहेगा. And there is a chance that you might not be able to see of what's coming behind. Overall, both the mirrors and everything are decent. There's one more thing that the RC gets integrated LED indicators within the headlight unit itself. Headlight के बाजू में आ जाता है. तो वो एक काफी अच्छा है. Now let's compare the RR with the Ninja 300. RC को side में रख दिया. Ninja 300 को लेके आया because the price difference again with the parallel twin is not too much because Ninja 300 आपको 3 lakh 93, 4 lakh तक मिल जाती है. मतलब the price difference is close to 50,000 rupees for the top end variant of the RR versus the Ninja 300. Now the Apache gives you everything that you need. एंड आपको सब कुछ मिल जाता है बट इफ यू रिक्वायर अ बेटर फ्यूल टैंक एंड इफ यू आर ओके विद एन ओल्डर डिजाइन मतलब ये डिजाइन आपको 10 साल से मिल रहा है एंड यू आर ओके विद हेलोजन हेडलाइट्स एंड एवरीथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट देन यू कंसीडर द निंजा 300 हंड्रेड ओनली देन आपको डिजिटल मीटर नहीं मिलता एंडलॉग मीटर मिलता है विच डज अ स्वाइप अप एंड इट ड्राइव ऑल द वे अप टू इलेवन ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड आर पी एम सो इफ यू वॉन्ट समथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट देन यू कैन कंसिडर द निंजा थ्री हंड्रेड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट पावर एंड एवरीथिंग थर्टी एट बी एच पी फॉर द निंजा थर्टी एट बी एच पी फॉर द आर 29 Newton meters for the Apache RR, 27 Newton meters for the Ninja. So Ninja has a little bit more power, like 0.88 bhp more power, but little less torque, 27 Newton meters. However, the smoothness of the engine will blow you away because there are literally no vibrations. The parallel twin motor has been made like a gem, and the fuel tank is like 17 liters. So the way fuel tank here, so you get almost double the range of what you get on the RR. There is, however, one big problem is that this is an old motorcycle. The Ninja 300 has been updated only for colors and all of that sort. Or, कुछ update किया ही नहीं है उसमें यार कुछ और मतलब changes लेके आते हैं, LED headlights लेके आते हैं, कुछ नहीं मिलता. Ninja 300 में भी आपको indicators जो मिलते हैं, body panel के अंदर integrated है. So that is definitely a good thing. But things could have been better with the Ninja because you don't get such good tires. You get 110 section front, but a 140 section tire. While that on the RR Apache RR is 110 front, 150 rear Michelin road fire tires, and those are grippy W rated tires. So that is definitely a good addition. I would definitely urge you to go and check out the RR when you are buying the motorcycle, sit on it, see the comfort and everything. But if you are looking for even more comfort, like even more आराम चाहिए आपको, and you want not so much leaned in posture. मतलब RC तो एकदम leaned in था, RR 310 थोड़ा सा कम aggressive है, and the Ninja 300 is even less aggressive. It is a very comfortable motorcycle. The seat height is very very less at just 780 mm. If you are not a tall rider, if your height is less than 5 feet 4 inches, and if you want a motorcycle that you can hop on without tiptoeing everywhere, then you should consider the Ninja 300 because 780 mm का seat height will always be very welcoming. The rear seat also is not too tall, so pillion के लिए भी आपको problem नहीं होगा. Ninja 300 is definitely a comfort goer for you. But then again, you get a parallel twin motor, and then the exhaust note from the Ninja 300 will always be pleasing and smooth, while an Apache RR will feel a little bit rough. Little bit rattly also if we compare it head on. Adding a little more to the mix and if you're looking out for a motorcycle that has a retro look, आपको fairing नहीं चाहिए fairing से आप परेशान हो चुके हो, then there's nothing else but get the Royal Enfield Continental GT 650. Now that is a motorcycle which is not promoted or not paid in this video, but I will go ahead and say this because that 650 का engine is such a gem. It is a heavy motorcycle for sure. It weighs a little over 200 kg, but the all all the other motorcycles are close to 175 to 180 kg. So yes, there is a little over 25 kg's ka weight gain. But that motorcycle has the same riding feel of a super sport motorcycle while being a retro classic. And then that motorcycle has a crazy exhaust note. 
Continental GT650 has been in the market since a very long time and you get resistant tires with the alloy variant and if you consider the alloy variant the honor cost of the Continental is close to 4 lakh 10 thousand rupees so around that price you will actually like the Continental if you look for a retro modern motorcycle with the update you get LED headlights also and it is a decent looking motorcycle service cost also is decent enough you don't have to worry about dropping the motorcycle and breaking uh, the fairing but you definitely have to worry about the crankcase and everything because the engine is very big at the end of the day I will actually go ahead and say this that for the price the TVS Apache RR310 at 350000 for the bomber grey color which comes with the quick shifter as standard is a very good motorcycle if you want adjustability function on the suspension you need adjustable levers, dynamic dynamic road kit you need to add karna hai, then that adds an extra cost of 15-20,000 rupees each for the package and then the price will go up to 4 lakh rupees so it comes very close to the RC390 as well as the Ninja 300 Ninja 300 is a very old motorcycle RC390 ko update nahi once the RC390 gets the new KTM Duke engine which produces close to 46 bhp of power then I will definitely say that the RC is a better pick than the RR but for now RR has been updated with winglets and all winglets are not integrated into the motorcycle fairing they are an addition that is 3M tape but apart from that the overall look of the motorcycle is just brilliant I just rode the motorcycle at coast and I was having fun with it you could push the motorcycles to the limit and then even then there was so much space that I was actually running tighter lines and I could have gone even more faster. At that point in time I thought that yaar 310 hai, isko full enjoy kar sakte hai. You can ride this motorcycle the way you want it. If you want a retro modern then the Continental GT is definitely a very good option but then again it does not have any kind of electronics. No traction control, no nothing, no nonsense at all. Even the meters are like gold, two chota units mil jata hai, and nothing has been updated on the Continental. So it is a very old school, similar case with the Ninja 300. Then you consider the RR which is completely modern with all set of electronics, everything that you ask for apart from the cooling seat that you get from the RTR. But baki sab kuch mil jata hai. And then there is KTM. So these are the four bikes. You can definitely consider the BMW G310 RR which is nothing else but the Apache RR310 but that again the BMW motorcycle has not been updated with the powerful engine yet. It still produces lesser power and it still produces lesser torque but then you get the BMW badge. Out in the market Apache RR310 is actually one of the best motorcycles to get as a full fed powerful electronically modern set motorcycle here. RC90 comes next, Ninja 300 just after that because it's old. Kawasaki should do something about it and then the Continental GT650. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I have confusion a little bit more. If you are still confused ho and you want some final solution between which of the motorcycles to buy, do let me know in the comments below or do DM me on Instagram. I will definitely help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.